The pancreas has two major functions. One is it produces insulin and regulates other types of hormones that help maintain our blood sugar in a normal range. We need to maintain that in a very tight range, otherwise we won't feel well, and that could be lethal if it, if it strays from that, that range. Um, and in addition, the pancreas also produces a digestive juice or enzyme that helps you digest the food that you eat. Technically, you can live without a pancreas, and, they, and some patients will lose their entire pancreas, either because of tumor or because of something called chronic uh, pancreatitis. In that situation, those patients typically um, require to be on insulin as well as to be on a supplemental digestive enzyme tablet to help them digest their food. Pancreatic cancer is a little less well-defined in terms of the risk factors. The number one risk factor that uh, is always discussed is smoking. Smoking is associated with lung cancer and various other head and neck cancers, et cetera. Pancreas cancer also, unfortunately, uh, is, uh, is associated with smoking as well. There are some familial syndromes where patients are more at risk of developing pancreatic cancer. Depending upon what part of the pancreas fails, uh, and it may be a complete failure or a partial failure, you can have different symptoms. So obviously, if it's not producing insulin, then the blood sugars will be elevated or abnormal or difficult to control. And that would be a condition called diabetes. The other uh, symptoms that a patient might have, if they're not producing or the digestive enzyme cannot get to where it's supposed to, then they might have greasy, foul-smelling stools because what the pancreatic enzyme is doing is breaking down the fats in our diets and helping us digest them. And if they're not digested, they're just going to go through your system and show up in the stool. So cramping, abdominal pain, weight loss, uh, and things of that nature.